Hi, I'm Mark Demato, and welcome to a brand new normal entertainment let's play. Blade 2 for the PS2. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the um, canonicity of this game is in relation to the actual movie, because when we start out, Whistler is alive and well, we don't have to rescue him or anything. So, eh, who knows. Listen carefully to Whistler's instructions. Then Whistler's base, the training area, because that is the first level of the game. Let you know what you're actually doing in this thing. Welcome to the training area, the tiny whistler head. We've got a whole lot of work to be doing. But first off, you're gonna need some training to get you in shape. Watch your teeth over. There's my shape is just PS2 fine. blade. Just show me what I need to do. Every time he moves his mouth, it looks like he's trying to say some motherfucker's always trying to ice skate a pill. Like, that's his default phrase to say. <laughs> I don't know, I find it funny. Yep, this is a training area. And there's Blade. Okay, first up, head towards the first Can't blip. do. Push the left analog. Good. Now I want you to go to the next one. Yep. Keep following the trail of glyphs until I say otherwise. Whistler's kind of an ass in this uh, tutorial section. He's not the best mentor for new players because he will just, like, insult you and rag on you until you do what he says. At one point he actually says, do what I say, goddammit. So... <laughs> Good work, Blade. Now pull that switch to open up the gate. I'm gonna try to not trigger him right to say that, analog stick but eh, who knows. Now that the gate is open, head up the steps and follow the walkway around. Moves pretty smoothly. I does at first look like kind of an now here I want you to jump the over this game. gap and continue around. But it has some really different things in it, which we'll get to when we get to Press it. the square button to jump. Awesome. Okay. Now keep following that walkway around to the firing range. Well done. Now here we're going to try a little bit of firearms cool, practice. Cool. Draw your weapon and take out all of those targets over there. You can do that. Anything else to say, old man? Nope. Press left on the directional button to select your pistol. Press the X button to shoot. Nice work. Now follow the walkway around to the fighting cage. I don't like the Blade 2 gun as much as the Blade 1 gun. Because the Blade 1 gun just looked like we found an actual Uzi and we upgraded it. Follow the walkway around to the fighting Let cage. Me, give me my fucking time, dude. I can do things in my own time. Not yours. Okay. I'll work for I'm going to release a few of our Fang friends. Just do what you do best and send them to hell. Sure. Push the right analog stick to perform hand-to-hand -hand moves. Yep, we fight with the right with the right analog stick, and surprisingly. Feels nice pretty good. <laughs> now let's see you take out. I'm, I was surprised bags. by how sm how not bad it felt. I mean, it means you can hit in any direction. Excellent work, Blade. It seems that you're in good shape after all. I thought you'd know better by now, Whistler. Now why don't you give me a real challenge? <laughs> a lot of the Marvel games you'll be seeing coming out of me for the for the for a while are gonna be sequels. <laughs> 
<coughs> so, that's basically how this game controls. Let's do Karkov Tower, level one. Pursue the vampire with the blood to the upper floors of the Additional tower. Additional objective, destroy the motorbikes. Difficulty human, I can do that. We're gonna take our pistol, high rate of fire, good all round we weapon. Takes two slots. And with that, we're gonna take four things of pistol ammo, just in case. It's always good to have a ranged weapon on you. Kharkov Tower, 9.20 p.m. Dr. Grant says that the Kharkov Tower could be a vampire safe house. We got a tip off that an exchange is about to happen nearby. Although the details are sketchy, we believe that the exchange will involve Ooh, a body containing some kind of pure blood DNA. Keep a low profile until the exchange occurs. We don't want those assholes making a run for it with a vial of blood. When the exchange happens, you're uh, free to take over the negotiations. Gentlemen. And stick around. Uh, if we fight slowly and rhythmically, it builds our rage meter, which allows us to draw our sword. Um. Kind of wish we had access to the sword all the time, but if you do it properly, you'll be using your sword pretty often, and it's not really that big a deal. Uh, collect as many glyphs as you can if you play the game. You, you use them as currency to buy new weapons, to we'll unlock new weapons and stuff. You want, I know you want to get the glaive, because the glaive's awesome. Something here too, by the way. I will be safe stating in this game, because there are often bullshit things that can kill you. Probably not in this level, but... We gotta get after that chicken shit with the blood. Then there's only one thing to do. The hint there is to shoot those barrels. I loved it when it when, when it triggers the grab and stake attack. <laughs> those cut be careful of the cars, they can and will run you over. He says closer. that a lot. <laughs> he says that a lot in this game. So we're gonna collect the glyphs that are oh that are left here. Interesting thing with the jumping in this, you can just hold jump and you will just flip r continuously in direction you're moving. It's actually pretty great. It's also very useful when a car is trying to run you over to just kind of... Oh, this guy thinks he can kill us with bottles. That's a little insulting. That's what happens when you get hit by a car. Oh! Okay, dude. No, I guess you were familiar. 
You can tell he's not a vampire because he's not a pile of ash right now. These are the motorbikes that are our bonus objective. Sub objective, rather. Sub bonus, same thing. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Oh, we did not in any way clear that. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Oh, oh, good. Okay. Oh, that makes things more interesting. <laughs> we might have to restart this level, guys. Let's shake down this nest of vampires for good. Eliminate everyone in here before hitting the That's not gonna be possible, Whistler. <laughs> I think we regenerate a little, but <laughs> Oh boy. Med pack. Motherfucker. Oh, cars. <laughs> And now I think I'll show you, when you get to the next set of enemies, what you really want to see with a Blight game. Oh, right through the dick! Oh! That was not nice. <laughs> It's generally a one-hit kill, but sometimes it will tear off, we will cut off their arm. Which is, by the way, hilarious <laughs> when it happens. Well, oh! Down here we have a there's we're gonna find a med kit. And a, and our final cycle. Groovy. Now be careful of here because that, that can hurt you if you walk over it on the stairs. So you have to backflip over that unless you want to take some unnecessary damage. Which, I mean, you might want to take some unnecessary damage. You're allowed. But... Level's almost over at this point anyway. So. And by the way, every single time you, you complete a level, he <laughs> does the dorky fist pump from the first movie, and it's great. Unlocked Glaive. Save progress.
Destroy Horrors the communication stories. points to prevent the full force of the tower's security being alerted to your and presence. And destroy the limos. Well, for this we're going to take our gun, our decapitation blade, and three things of ammo. Because we want the glaive, because the glaive is awesome. Underground parking lot, 9.45 p.m. That guy with the blood is heading for the upper floors. Before you follow, we'll need to get some insurance. Destroy the tower's communication points. You don't want everyone knowing where you're at. Yeah, don't bother with the barrels this time. There's nothing there. I'm gonna get our glaive so yeah, that works. And yeah, does not work. We want all the glyphs we can get, obviously. Oh, that's the cap. That's how the glaive worked, guys. It's awesome. <laughs> we are gonna be quick saving because um, well, bullshit can kill us very easily in this. That's a two, that's a special glyph. I'll grab that. You bastard! That wasn't even near me. It's the day walk. Now this is one of those bonus objective limos. Goodbye. <sighs> Was born ready, motherfucker. Right, that's in the bad mood. There's no other word for Blight 3. That movie was just bad. <laughs> it could have worked, but it really didn't. <laughs> I, I understand why in the first movie, when he first drew this weapon, Blade had that big ass grin on his face. This thing is amazing.
See, it took his arm off. I mean, I'd kind of prefer being able to use the, the sword whenever I want, but it's not too bad, because you, you're ra as, you, as we've seen, the Rage Mirror does fill up pretty quickly, and the unarmed combat is pretty fucking fun. I think this would actually be pretty good ported to the Wii or something. Like, the, with the directional things, it could... Could technically qualify as a workout game. If we were on, if we were on a Wii. Well, Wii that isn't really a thing anymore, so... What can you do? Let me know. Uh, I will say Blade's Glaive is not a real glaive. The closer to a real glaive is the glaive we had in Predator Concrete Jungle. In this, eh, just a cool name. The thing about save stating is, yes, you can re. Uh, what I find the benefit is, you yeah, you can re you can reload from somewhere if you make a mistake. But I've noticed that if you when you save state, you make fewer mistakes. It's like a subconscious thing. I don't know. Level's not exactly going well. <laughs> yeah. But that's not doing too going too badly either. Gonna look for a med pack. <laughs> a glaive out, because the glaive is awesome. Save state. And we're heading through that door we unlocked. We do get the code eventually, don't worry. <laughs>
Yeah. Pistol ammo. And 200 bonus points. We'll use our gun for the next room. Hope we get another med pack. I really do. So this is where the last um, thingamajigger there is. Before we activate that, we're gonna we'll destroy that. We're gonna see if we can find the rest of the limos. <laughs> There's one limo. We gotta, I'd kind of like to find and destroy it. <laughs> yeah, I got our cool ass bleed out. The bleed. Maybe it's in here. Maybe nothing's in there because that door doesn't open. If it won't open from a kick from Blade, it won't open ever. Let's look for that limo. We <laughs> yeah, got that one. Where's the last limo, guys? It's in there. Okay. Let's pause for a saving in case you fuck up. There we go! And we got some extra glyphs. Awesome! Now I can complete the level. So yeah, this it's different from the first game. It's easier, but <laughs> definitely easier. And uh, the, the, the the right stick combat gets a lot of shit, but I, I think it works quite well. Um, I don't really mind not being able to use a sword that often, because well, he doesn't really in the movie. He uses the gun and the glaive and his fists more than he uses a sword in the film. But if we ha I, I still would like a comic book based blade game where we... Um, it's like a Devil May Cry clone. I think that would be really fun, but meh. Doubt that's gonna happen. I like how it went sheathed. Yeah, I know, Blade, you're dying. <laughs> well, we'll be fine, we're getting out of this. Well, actually, does it show the glaive holstered on us? No, I don't think it does. It shows the pistol, but not the glaive. gun out for this. We've been in this room, a room exactly like this before, haven't we? Okay, now make your way back to the elevator. We gotta get after that chicken shit with the blood. Oh, we're not, this is, we're not done yet? No. Oh. Okay. Is there a health pack? Okay, let's go.
I'm the day one. Oh, thank God. Thank you for the health pack, my friend. It is nice to have the actual blade instead of just the multi-launcher that shoots a blade. Self-decapitation. <laughs> awesome. And we got attacked by a vampire while leaving the level. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, we unlocked the shotgun. Yes. Well, this has been the first. Make your way through the club and find your way to the upper floor. That sounds floors. fucking awesome. But uh, this has been the first video of Let's Play Blade 2. I'm Mark Metal. See you all next time. Ciao. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!